Welcome to, I think this is the 16th video on Microsoft Surface and Windows 8. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to use Skype. And so Skype is the um, service that Microsoft provides um, for doing teleconferencing, um, video voice communication between you and your friends. Um, and so like all applications, you go to the Microsoft Store, do a search for Skype, hit install, and then it will put an icon on your desk. And I've gone ahead and, and done that ahead of time, just so we didn't have to wait for the download to, to happen. Now, I've already run it once. Um, when you do run it for the first time, what it's going to do is it's going to ask for access to your microphone and your, your video player. The, the video camera in the surface is right in the center there. You can barely see it. Um, a little light will come on beside the camera when it's on so that you know when it's recording. So that's sort of a good trick. Um, if you see that little light on, that means that the cameras on and so someone might be um, you might be connected to someone or you might be recording a video who knows what it might be um, the second thing it's going to prompt you is ask you if you want Skype to be running in the background um, and what that allows is so that someone can call you when you're on your system it will just always be available so someone can make a call to you and you'll get a prompt to ask do you want to accept the call or they can send you a message etc um, I don't use Skype that much myself so I didn't allow the background um, running of it I just have it so that when I want to make a call or when I know I'm expecting a call I'll start up Skype and, and and connect. Um, the other thing here you'll see is that I'm already logged in. It's showing that I'm available. And so you do have to create a Skype account. It's free and you can link it up with Facebook, correct one directly, link it up with your mail account. Um, I think there's quite a few different options. Um, making calls is also free if you're calling another Skype user. So basically both of you are using a computer device of some sort. Um, it has to be going over IP. If you call a telephone number, that's when it can cost you money. Um, and so you can call just someone on their cell phone, uh, but then it's going to cost a little bit of money and then won't have the video option either. So I always use the, the Skype to Skype option and I've just helped my parents and my, my brother um, sort of set up Skype on their system so that we can do video chat if we want to. Um, so once you get it set up, you have an account, all that, the next thing you're going to want to do is test out the system to make sure that your camera and um, the microphone and sound is all working. And they actually provide a service for that from Skype that you can call. Now, it's showing up here on my um, People app automatically, but it wasn't at first, so let me show you. Um, basically what happens is Skype goes through and checks all your contacts, Facebook, etc., to see who has a Skype account or a compatible service. And so that's what this list is showing right here. Um, but it also has added to this list an Echo Sound Test Service. And so I'm going to click on that one. Um, it will bring up a screen that would show a profile picture if, if they had one set up. shows that they're available um, and that you can make a call to it. So this little green button is just for the call. Now when I do the call, it's going to um, read out a message. That way I know that the sound works. It's then going to ask me to leave a message. I'll leave one and then it will echo it back to me. And that way you can basically make sure that, that the microphone and the... the um, speaker are working. I think this microphone will pick it up, but if not, and there's some silence for a little while, that's what's going on. So it's making the call. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. This is a test message from Surface Sherpa on Windows 8. So as you can see, the microphone and the sound worked so I can hang up on that test service. And now we're ready to, to use Skype to call someone else. Um, so I'm going to go back to the main screen here. Um, what I did is I actually have my fiance in the other room um, and set up a test account. So I'm going to launch this one. And what you'll see here is that it does show availability, so whether they're online or not. Because usually if you're calling, they could be hidden. There's a way to set your status to invisible, just for someone who doesn't want to be disturbed. And then they could still get the call, but quite often if they're not listed as available, then nothing's going to happen. Um, the other thing you'll see here is that there's actually two different options to call. You can just use this one to just have audio call. If you want to use the camera as well, you can hit the camera one. And I think you can actually change this in the middle of a call, um, but we want to do the whole thing here. So I'm going to hit the video call here. 
and you'll see that little light went on on the laptop. It's making a call over to, to her computer and hopefully she'll be picking up here. Okay, so she picked up and as you can see, she didn't want to be on the camera. So we're going to have um, the Obama finger puppet instead. But let's just test the audio. Lisa, can you hear us? Yep, so now you can sort of see that also in the bottom corner here, there's a picture of me. And so this is what she's seeing on her side. And then we can see whoever's on the other side of, of it and also hear whatever they're up to. Um, now, on the regular desktop one, there's actually an option to minimize it, make a different size and shape and everything. But you can see here, all we can do is favorites, view profile, and remove the, the contact. Um, if you touch the center of the screen here too, um, you can see here, you could turn off the camera, you can mute. Not actually sure what that option is. Um, we'll, we'll try that one out another time. Um, but the other option here is the little red hang up button. And so what we're going to do is we're going to hang up and then Lisa will give us a call back. So you can see what it looks like when someone gives you a call. So I'm going to hit that button to hang us up. It will take us back to the main screen here. And then you can see incoming call. This actually shows up in different places sometimes. It might be up here or down here. But to accept the call, you just hit this little green button here. Um, now when it brings it up, we're seeing her camera, but you can see the camera is turned off on our side. And so what we want to do is we want to turn that back on so she can see us. And then the other thing, so the light goes on in the top, a little picture of us is in the bottom here, so that you can see that I'm the one talking and my video is coming through. And let's just check and make sure. Lisa, can you see our pictures? We can see you. Okay, great. Um, so basically that's, that's the core of Skype. Um, we're gonna hang up here so Lisa can go back and do what she was doing. Um, bye, Obama. Um, and basically that's, that's the whole thing. So you can add contacts, you can add people to your favorites. Um, you can see up here, it's showing me as available right now. If I click on that, I believe I can change. Yeah, I can change myself to invisible, the one that you saw there, or I can sign out, keep, um, the, the account open, the program open, but take myself offline. Um, and that's basically it. It's a fairly easy tool to use. Um, I've used it quite a bit myself, um, especially when I'm traveling. It, it cuts down on long distance calls. And it's nice to be able to see someone while you're talking to them as well. And great with like nieces and nephews or if you have grandkids, whatever. Kids really sort of love the fact that they're on TV and that they can see you. It, it can change the... The, the whole conversation. So hope you enjoyed. Um, stay tuned. Still have, have more I'm going to show in future videos. And again, if you have any requests, send them along and I'll see if I can, um, I can do a video on whatever you're, you're interested in.